Are you excited for Barstool Sports Advisors coming up? Well, we're not going to do it until you like and subscribe. I'm not giving you any more Z. You can't do 15%? Come on, 15% more? You can't do 15% more. Hey, Big Gav! You look fat! <laughs> Today's the rundown. Um, June 27th, uh, July 5th. Tommy, what's the date? September 8th, boss. Oh, today's the rundown, September 8th. Hey! <sighs> it was just a dream. Barstool Sports Advisors. We're back for another season. Season four. 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 Season four. One, two, three, four. Season four. I'm joined as always by Dave, Stu, the lovely Hannah, and our resident geek, Tommy Smokes, who actually, way to start the season. who actually pulled some is, ass. He's pulled some ass. Pulled some he, ass right in my face. He needs a moderate amount of pussy. Oh, Just an average the guy, amount. The guy is on not fire. Not too much, not too little. All right, we're back. <laughs> NFL Week One. I am so excited. Barstool Sports Advisors. We have five games we're going to get to. We're going to get to our mortal locks. Before we start all of it, though, I want a little where is your head at, Dave? And then also, Stu, give me a power rankings, Dave. So, uh, I'm off to a decent start so far this season, up a little bit, but, you know, we're in the suit now. I don't know what I did last year. The man in the suit is here. I don't know. How, I'm rattled that we don't have our records or mortal locks. I don't know anything. I remember Stu lost, like, 30 straight mortal locks. That's all I remember. Then he hit that parlay, which you're not allowed to do this year. No. Uh, it was amazing. I did you guys plan this? What? Did you guys plan this? What? Plan the suits? What? Um... Look, we always look good. The you're like twins. Way. Yes. Two he didn't twins. even remark about it because he, he's... He has well, black is pretty basic. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Pretty basic. I like yeah. it. I like Beautiful. It. Well, the number 10. One zero. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like that. S -s -s Tall, skinny one. Short big, fat, fat yeah. zero. Short stout. Stu, yeah. power rankings real quick because I want these on the record. If the Minnesota Vikings are in your top four, I'm going to fight you. Uh, okay, NFC, it's uh, Buccaneers... Rams, Packers, AFC is Chiefs, Ravens, Chargers. Ooh, okay, Chargers, clocking in at number three. Didn't see that one coming. All right, let's do it. Should we hop into it? Should we let's get go. to the games? Let's go. All right, we're going to start. Huge game to start. This is a matchup everyone's looking for. The Steelers going to Buffalo. The Bills are looking like a Super Bowl contending team. The Steelers are doing another year with Big Ben, bringing it all back. The Bills are minus 6.5. The over-under is 48.5. Dave, I will start with you. What do you think about this game? Tough game. I love. Listen, I love the Bills. Um, it is an interesting year for me. Last year, COVID, this and that. I love Josh Allen. 
They are an AFC East team. Mm. Let's not forget. You forgot there. about that. No, I didn't forget. Last year, it's like Cam Newton, who sucks and is a joke and should have never, you know, he had COVID and he's a joke. You always said that, by the I, way. I you never, were always I, I was that. never a believer in Cam Correct, Newton, never. I don't know if you've been paying attention to a little love, love affair going on in oh. Foxborough. Cam Newton, Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick saying maybe he's the greatest coach he's ever coached. Guess who was the last co- uh, quarterback he had? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. They're saying Cam Newton may be better than Tom Brady. You want to you want to sleep a bet? Cam Newton MVP. Cam Newton MVP. Take it right now. I'm getting off track exactly. here. My point is this: the AFC East goes through New England still. So as much as I like the people of Buffalo, and as much as I like Josh Allen, and I think they're very good. Yes. I think they're very good. I'm gonna take Pittsburgh here mm. to keep it close. I don't like the pick. I'm wearing a suit, but this is a pick that has nothing to do with this game. This is a pick that has to do with the Patriots. And if we're going to reestablish the East, I need the Bills to lose a few here and there. This could be one of them. Double pick to style like the over. Double pick. Over. Over. Steelers over. Steelers and the over. Stu, what do you got on this game? That's a Patriots pick. Um, Bills were 11-5 against the spread last year. One of the best teams in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Um, Steelers were phenomenal. 10-0 opened up. I think I had them to win a Super Bowl before Ben got hurt. Uh, I think Pittsburgh is going to destroy Buffalo in this game. Oh, destroy them. Crush them. I think, you know, Pittsburgh comes in. I think Pittsburgh is one of the most underrated teams in the AFC that's fully loaded. AFC is loaded. There's 10 teams that could go to the Super Bowl. I think Steelers make uh, a statement here. That ben, yeah. ben is back! Wait, give I us the I think the key is here is Ben is back! What? I don't know if Big Ben got injured last year. One. He, he, he got old. He got old. Oh. Two. Uh, 10 teams. Go. AFC. Super Bowl contending teams. 10 of them. Ten out of sixteen teams in the AFC are contenders. Chargers. Yup. Bills. Yup. Yes. Patriots. Yes. Yup. It's gonna Bunch. be tough to get. Ravens. To yup. Yes. Steelers. Yes. Yup. You got five. Chiefs. Chiefs. Browns. 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 Yup. Seven. Um. Dolphins. Jets. Jets. Dolphins. Jets. Dolphins. A Dolphins maybe. It, for people who are keeping score at home, that is the entire AFC East could go to the Super Bowl. I can't get the 10th. Uh, why don't you- Broncos! 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 Okay. I love John Elway! Okay, no Colts? I love John Elway! No Colts? Uh, Colts have no prayer. Okay, no, no prayer No prayer Colts. at all. Jets, yes, Colts, no. Uh, no prayer. No all right, prayer. so your pick on this game. Um, love, love Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. I, I love it. Mm. Money line. Big. Um, no, they're going to kill them, but not the money line. Uh, I, they're going to kill them, but I'm going to take the points. Okay, you're going to take the points. Yes, Tommy, absolutely. Give me a stat. Um, Big Ben did start every game last yep. year outside of Week 17 for a rest. couple of key trends for the Steelers here. They're 15-5 and five in their last 20 as a road dog, and the under has also hit in 39 of the last 53 road games. Mm. Can, I, can I take the... Gonna, under? So no, cancel no, no, the no, over. No, no, I'm going to cancel the over. Cancel the over. stick with the Steelers. Okay. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, You're welcome. Hannah, what about the weather in western New York? It's going to be a gloomy afternoon in Buffalo. It's going to be 75 degrees and cloudy. It doesn't sound that gloomy. It's, that gloomy. it's, full, it's all clouds. Cold. There's no sun. I mean, 75, though. Yeah, serotonin. Means, I need sun for serotonin and happiness. That, you look fabulous in that red dress. Thank you, oh, yeah. All right. Dude, pervert chill. alert. Is, can chill I get some pervert alert? Okay. Oh. <laughs> or no. If you had. I'm asking if it's either a yes or no, Hannah. You don't get a squirm. Hank, yes or no. Hank. If, Control him. That was yes or no. <laughs> the over under for Stu to make everyone in the room uncomfortable was set at two and a half and, and minutes he and the under hammer. Just like total line, he went. Wait. Yeah, right, right. Hopped over. I never disappoint. Yeah, not to. Yeah, not just the. Uh, I didn't get an answer. answer. It's either a yes or no. All right, all right, all okay. Right. I am gonna buck the trends here with the gentleman on my left. I'm taking the Bills. Two teams going in a different direction. Steelers keeping it all together last year. They were 11 and 0. They were fraud 11 and 0. The Bills, the Bills are hot. The Bills are going to be I like really Buffalo. fucking good. I like year. Buffalo. I wish we didn't have I don't to beat so. them on our way I to the Super Bowl. I think they're going to disappoint and the guess what? And guess what? Them. And leave the Buffalo. That will be... Go to Austin. That to Texas. What? The Bills? Come on. That will be the loudest crowd on Sunday. That crowd is going to be insane. It'll be loud. I mean, the Chiefs crowd will be loud. Steelers don't Bills, care. Bills crowd will be loud. Real Cullen loud. doesn't care. Okay. Minus six and a half, I'm taking the Bills. Let's go to our next game. Speaking of the Chiefs, the Browns going to the Chief, or, uh, Chiefs, the rematch of uh, the divisional round last year. Chiefs are minus six, over-unders 54. 
Chiefs revamped offensive line. Browns, for the first time in a very long time, are going into a season with real expectations. They're one of Stu's Super Bowl contending teams, so I'll start with you, Stu. Who do you like in this game? Uh, I love the Browns to roll into Kansas City and blow them the fuck out of the Wow. Game. Now, Browns should have beat the Chiefs in the playoff game last year. Uh, if that, I don't know. If that turnover at the end zone was called properly, I think Cleveland wins that game. Mm. And although Kansas City's flat out loaded, absolutely loaded, these are, in my opinion, besides Tampa Bay, especially in the AFC, the two best rosters in the NFL. Mm. They're loaded, they're deep, they could do it all on both sides of the ball here, but I think Cleveland's ready to make noise. I don't like this thing that Kansas City dynasty, they're gonna win Super Bowl after Super Bowl. You win one, you're not Tom Brady, okay? You're not Bill Belichick. You win one Super Bowl, be grateful. Chiefs every year, they're gonna win this, they're gonna win that. I think Cleveland blows them out. I think Chiefs are gonna struggle. They struggled against the number last year because they're the prohibitive favorite in the AFC. Feel good team. Browns win big. Mm, Browns that was a suck-up move right there. Browns win big. Said, uh, that was Baker Mayfield. I love year. Baker. You, you love Baker Mayfield? Love Baker. Okay. I love him. Please note that, Baker, because I know that some people who work at Barstool don't like you, but we do like you. No, I love him. Who, does like not, who doesn't Dion like does Dion. Oh, prime time. Dion, I didn't remember? see him in one commercial said, this year, by the Dion way. Dion said yeah, yeah, he stinks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dion yeah, said wrong. he stinks? Yeah, but yeah, Dion nice doesn't. Job, Dion. Dion doesn't Dion. Has Dion ever been right about no, anything? No, no. I mean, Infrequently he, correct. I mean, is yeah. he the ultimate worst at everything he Listen, talks about? I mean, it's unbelievable. I, Give a prediction. Go against Dion. We forgot. Shout out to Dion, I love you, but you're a loser. We've forgotten more football than Deion Sanders knows. No, no, no. He's the greatest player ever. I'm not saying that. I watched him play baseball. I watched him play football. He was responsible for the 49ers winning the Super Bowl, then the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl, then the 49ers winning the Super Bowl, blah, 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 blah. That's not how it went. But when he talks about predictions, he's got no feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's a God fearing man. Nobody that is a God fearing man should gamble, and God, and he doesn't gamble, but he does predictions, so God pisses on him. Okay. I think that's it. All right, that's fair. Right? You can't be that good looking and have this much money and have this career and just be right all the time, except for Dave Portnoy. But he's one in a million. You good? One in a billion! <laughs> one in a trillion! One in Googleplex! Spell Googleplex, fuck you, I fucked your mother. Dave. Hey, we're back. We are back. All right. I, it, this is a tough game, obviously. Two very good teams. Here's what, and I'm glad Sue brought up the Patriots and Belichick and all our Super Bowls because there's a little something called Super Bowl hangover, which a lot of times when young teams win the Super Bowl for the first time and everyone's throwing bouquets at, you know, Mahomes, his brother's doing all these TikTok dances and things like that, and people forget you got to put in the work in the offseason. I think the Chiefs. We're surprised they didn't get to the Super Bowl. I thought they could just cakewalk to it. I think this year they'll be more focused. Six is a lot of points. A lot of points. It's a lot of points. A lot of points. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs at home to win by double digits in the first game. I don't love this pick, but it's why I love sports advice. Because mm. games that I don't normally touch, I throw this suit on. Hank woke me up at 8.15. He's shooting video in my house. I get in the vibes. I get a coffee. I took an Adderall. He talked talk so long, the Adderall kicked in. Nice. The man in the suit is you now here. He's here. I, I am going to take the Chiefs minus the points. He's arrived. Prescription Portnoy has arrived. Nice. Uh, I have a problem because what? I'm just realizing now I'm going through my whole board. I might bet all the favorites. That is a problem. a problem. Chuck. Big problem. That's a problem. Chuck. Week one, you can't bet all the favorites. Shout out uh, Kelly in Vegas. I saw her say someone's like, you take you're taking all underdogs. She's like, I'm no chalk eating weasel. Mm. I like that. Mm. I like not being a chalk eating weasel. I'm a chalk eating weasel right now. Mm. Give me the Browns plus six. Give me the Browns plus six. Tommy. Uh, Super Bowl hangovers are especially real for the Super Bowl loser. Love this. Since 2000, the loser of the Super Bowl is 5-16 and 16 against the spread in week one of the following season. I love it. Well done, Tom. There Here we go. go. I'll eat nice. That. I'll that, eat those that, points. That hurts. I'll that eat hurts. those that, points. That hurts me. I'll to change it. Ain't no chalk-eating weasels on this show. Can I say something about oh, Just one thing. Um, no. Can I? No. Anna. Anna. No. The weather. Oh, go. Go. Sorry. Kansas City, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon, completely sunny and 79 degrees. Love it. All right, Woo. Stu, what did you want to say? Give um, me the Browns. Oh! oh. That's, a that's a consensus. <laughs> Whoa. Can I, Whoa. Uh, can I request uh, to the producers you put in the picture of me wearing the Cleveland shirt? Yes. Thank you. Please do that. All Stu, time what were you lost. Say? Um, is kicker. Andy Reid's son going to be in jail, or he has to go on trial? I, all right. So I actually, my intuition there—no, no, 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 that, that has to affect him. Shh, shh, shh. 
My intuition there of not letting you talk was right. No, 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 so but I'm is that going to affect going. him? No, that's... It affected him during the Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, Dolphins, Patriots. Dolphins, Patriots. Patriots minus three. Over under 43 and a half. David, are the Patriots back? Oh my God, are they back? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let, me, let me do an equation, first of all. Okay. Cam Newton, he sucks, all right? And yeah. credit to Bill Belichick not letting this quarterback controversy linger. He cut the sore off. He got rid of it. He's like, get rid of this guy and let's move forward. Now here's to the trivia part. Who would you say over the past 20 years is the most prolific, most winning, best college football program in the country? Somebody tell me. Alabama. Mm. Alabama. Alabama. Somebody tell me what is the most prolific, most winning, greatest football franchise of the last 20 years in the NFL. Someone tell me. New England Patriots ever. Let's put ever. Okay. But ever. Okay, okay, Wait, okay, but, okay. This is math. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Man's on a roll. But, 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 shh, Alabama shh, 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 shh. plus New England Patriots equals dynasty rebirth. Matt Jones, I'm hearing great things about this kid. The only thing I don't know about him is what I call him for his nickname. Should be Big Mac, Mac Attack. I don't know. It all rhymes. McCorkle? Mc, what? His name's McCorkle. Jack McCorkle? His name's McCorkle Jones. Wait, I Mac like Jones. Mac. I love this kid. Is I love Jones? Yeah, Mac Jones. Yep. Mike Jones. Why the fuck did my Mac? His name is McCorkle. His name is Mac. Uh, Tua did play at Alabama. Tua. Oh, I'm just. You said Tua. Alabama quarterback. Tua. You know, what? You, to, you know what? I'm they, just saying. I'm yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, sorry. That's yeah, some yeah, math. Yeah, you know what they had to do with Tua? They had to yank his ass yeah, and true. bring in the other guy in it's Philadelphia magic. to win a fucking Super Not Bowl. So don't tell me oh. about that. And you don't think you? What? Can I, here's another. <laughs> and here's another kid. Wait, where did we just go? We went to Mars. Let me tell you another <laughs> thing. Let me ask you another math. We're question. on Mars, Let folks. Let me ask you another math question. Yeah. Okay. Who are best friends? College football coach, pro football show coach. One name's with Babin, one's with Kelichek. Name them. Who are best friends? Babin. Dino Babers. Nope. Wrong. Belichick and Saban are best friends. Got Do you it. think Saban is telling Belichick, hey, take this kid, Mac Jones? Did you see his um, draft picture? What did it look like? Tom Brady's draft picture. Mm. White boy, out of True. shape. Hit Little the belly. belly. I, bagel. He's got a bagel belly. I, I, I would take the Patriots win total. I take Patriots win the AFC East. Wow. I take the Patriots win the Super Bowl. Bill Belichick is something to prove. I love Brady. I'm a Brady guy. He won the Super Bowl. That's great. I, it was bittersweet. It's great for Patriot fans. Motivated Belichick. This is the year we rebirth. I love the Patriots here. I think so, the Patriots assassinate the Dolphins. I like the Flores. Also a Patriot guy. A lot of connections. Patriots by 20 on opening day. And we are back. They should be the favorite in the AFC. Mm, so they should you, be the favorite in the AFC. So you're they taking, should be the favorite in the Super Bowl. So you're taking the Patriots? Yes. Do you, you hear the math? Friend? I heard the math. I got the math. Tua did play at Alabama. Yeah, but he, I think Tua stinks, so but, I'm but, fine. But uh, I hate Tua. Oh. I don't hate him personal. Oh. I'm not like, oh, you're an asshole. Oh, I don't think you're very good. But Tua did get yanked. No? He did. He did. He was Pua. Yes. You like that? But he's young. So what? He got yanked at Alabama. Listen. Wait, no. He won a championship coming in. Yes. 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 No, he hurt his ankle. No, he got hurt. No, he got yanked. No. He, he got did get yanked. yanked. You're right. He got, he got yanked, yanked to the National That's Championship. That's where we went with the Philadelphia guy, but the Philadelphia guy didn't win a Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts. Now I've joined you on Mars. You I'm here said, too. Hello. I, wait, I thought that was like, like, like a joke. Like, did you guys no. didn't follow that? Well, he you got, said the Super Bowl guy I, won a but, Super Bowl in Philadelphia. Super Bowl Nick National Foles. Championship. No. I said the guy in got Philadelphia, Jalen Hurts, came and bailed his ass out. Listen. This is like week Tom one. Tom Brady came in the Orange Bowl and bailed out Henson. Week one is like going to a foreign country. My uh, Dave Portnoy translator is a little rusty. Now I'm back. Now Did, I got it. You guys didn't understand what I was saying. No, because you said Super Bowl, no, so we you thought totally Nick Foles. Confused me to death. I'm not on Adderall. <laughs> I'm not on Adderall. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sue's so actually being calm. Like, I'm shocked. Tra- Dave just well, talked for a while, and Sue, uh, like, I, just left. I got it now. I got it, it now. So, so, I got back, it so now. if I said national championship, you would have got it. Yes. I made one yes. little phone Yes. Call. Well, because the Eagles did win a Super Bowl. But Tua got yanked for Jalen Hurts. Yes, Hertz. yes. The that did happen. Yes. And Hurts brought him back. It was the reverse. No, it happened twice. It, it happened twice. It was the SEC championship game. The SEC championship game, Tua got yanked for Jalen Hurts which happened in the national championship game reverse. Yes. That's what happened. We know our sports. Is that right, Tommy? 
Yeah. Just ignore the last five minutes that they've spoken. <laughs> no, that made sense. Absolutely no, nothing they said. Made I got sense. it now. It's not accurate. Tua it. came in in the championship game no. at halftime. No, but Dave's right. Third quarter, no. threw his right. touchdown, Jaylen and Hurst they won. Jalen Hurts yes. came in against Georgia. Yeah, Jalen Hurts came in against yes. Georgia. Yeah, Jaylen Jaylen Hurst came in against Georgia. Yeah. No, Jalen Hurts came in against Why Georgia. Why am I wasting my time here? Tua also yeah. came in correct. against Georgia. Correct. I my ball. Yes. yes. Listen, t- no, oh Tua, yeah, Tua, Tua benched for Jalen Hurts. Thank you. Yes, in the SEC Clem- championship No, this game. says Clemson blowout of Alabama in 2019. So 2018 season, January 2019. No, what? that's not the game we're talking about then. Well, it's happened multiple no, times. No, find the SEC championship. Jalen Hurts Listen, came in folks, and we saved like Alabama. Yes, that's yes. That's a fact. Yes. 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 You and here's a fact. Tua was hurt. Forget about reality. He was Dynasty sucking. quarterbacks yes. don't get pulled in championship games. Period. So don't talk him out to it. Did Mac Jones ever get pulled in a championship game? No. No. They're up 50. Get the footage Here's of the, the back yes. throw, back Tra- up, back of the touchdown. Tra- Mac Jones, I said, that's my guy, me and Belichick. Tua replaced Jalen Hurts against Georgia, and Jalen Hurts replaced Tua against Georgia. Correct. Yes, I have confirmation. December 1st, 2018. Tua was Thank terrible. You. He had an injured Thank ankle. You. He sucked. Jalen Hurts came. They covered it no, up. Oh, he had the, the ankle. ankle. He, he had the covered ankle. up. And well, then, uh, uh, right now, who would you rather want, Mac Jones or Tua? I don't like Tua, so yeah, I agree with you. Mac Jones, say it. Mac Jones. <laughs> McCorkle. Tua. Yeah, that's You're an stupid. Idiot. Tua. That's stupid. Tua. He's a, he's he's been listen. He's been he's what? Been, <clears throat> he's been bitch slapped for no fucking reason. He has. He, 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 he got magic. He got pulled for bitch magic. How many times did Brady get pulled once he became the starter of the New England Patriots? Zero. Yeah, but they had the best defense in the NFL, and they had Belichick, and that's why he was but that's able what, to manage the game. The Dolphins kind of had they a, still have I think Belichick, Tua's a star. Yeah. I just want to put that in record. Okay. Some way, somehow, record. he's going to be a star. Yep. Great. You also said the Jets are a contender. For this they season. are a contender. Let me put this on the record. We might have the I, best I think quarterback the, in the NFL. I, I think the Jets quarterback, I'm not going to put New England because my bias. Outside Mac Jones, I like the kid from the Jets. So and that, that is no bias. That's no bias. That's no bias. No bias. Who's the Jets GM? Joe Douglas, one of my friends. Got it. Two, so, <laughs> you're back. No oh, bias. I said it before he drafted no him. No bias. Maybe he drafted him he because did. he called me, Dan. Yeah, Maybe that's he true. He said, hey, Dave, who do I like? I know you watch more football than anybody else. <laughs> These eyes? Those eyes? Eye test. Wow. Stu, give us your pick. All right, Hannah here, let's mother see. mother follows me. You can't play. You Ooh. play golf Zach phenomenal. Martin? You Zach, suck at ping pong, can you? Zach pass? Wilson. I don't know nice. why I have names wrong today. Nice! Left yeah. too, I know. Hannah and Red. I All right. All right. Come on. Uh, I, lo- I love the Dolphins in this game. Patriots traditionally own the Dolphins. Miami's like one and eight when they roll into uh, New England and get blown out. I don't see it here. I see the Dolphins making a statement. They're so well coached. They I have love such Flores. a great defense. And I think, uh, I think your quarterback's going to struggle mightily. Mac Jones. Mightily on opening day. Can I say something? Mac Jones will throw 17 for 27, three picks, and a fumble. Whoa. It's going to be ugly. Whoa. It's going to be ugly. Whoa. I think the Belichick era, truth be told, even though he's the greatest coach ever and it's the greatest franchise ever and the greatest team ever, is done. I think Belichick's going to go out in you know ruin, how many times in I've shame, heard that? in embarrassment. Do you know Stu how many Kellerman. times I've heard that in the last Shout year? out, Bill, you're done. No, no, Belichick, you're done. Why waste your time? Wear the hoodie, eat potato chips, you're done. Okay. You any. I, they might win the division. I, I'm taking the Patriots in this game. I'm not a believer in Tua. I've said it many, many Me times. Too. This is just what I've thought. I think that them, like, flirting a little bit with Deshaun Watson kind of tells you everything you need to know. Uh, putting in Fitzmagic. Tells, tells you everything you need to know. And I like Fitzmagic. Tommy. Uh, first round rookie quarterbacks actually do pretty well starting in week one. They're five and three against the spread over the last few years when they do start week one, like mm. Jones. Week one. Rookie Round one, rookie quarterbacks getting the start week one, week five one. and three against the spread. Who since are those? Uh, Mariota. No. Jameis Law. Yeah. Really? We're going back to 2015. Oh, that's, that's too far. Joe Burrow. On the app, we'll have turnovers for Jones, right? How many turnovers? Sam Darnold will there be really good. Yeah, there probably yeah, will. Okay. In fact, go over. In fact good, good segue. We go do over. have player props. Over. Yeah. Player props. Hannah, uh, New England on Sunday. It's going to be 79 degrees and completely sunny. I love sunny. I don't know how football. it can be completely sunny. I guess they're far enough. Probably. It's for, for um, they're both 4 o'clock games. What do you mean? Oh, What's the problem? It's so cloudy in Buffalo and sunny. Oh, well, yeah. Buffalo's a 1 o'clock game. Yeah, 1 and 4. 4.25, okay. 1 o'clock. Got it. Different Turn times it of the day. Uh, are we taking a break or no? Do we take breaks? We take breaks. So we will be right back with more Barstool Sports Advisors. We have two more picks to go, including Sunday Night Football and then our Mortal Locks. Back right after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here at Sports Advisors, we advise about sports, but we know stuff about other things too, like mortgages. Now, you don't have to have a pool that's consistently at 88 degrees without knowing a thing or two about mortgages. So when it comes to your mortgage, you need to go to Cross Country Mortgage. Now, Cross Country Mortgage has a team of loan officers dedicated to getting you the best possible loan terms available. They have an average close time of 21 days, which is ridiculously fast. Cross Country Mortgage is ready to roll. If you're in the market to buy a new home, you need Cross Country Mortgage. Even if you're not now, they're the ones with the best home buying advice. Go to crosscountrymortgage.com slash barstool. Cross Country Mortgage can take care of you through the home buying process. Cross Country Mortgage, LLC, NMLS 3029, all loans subject to underwriting approval, www.nmlsconsumersaccess.org. We surveyed 100 Americans. Top nine answers on the board. What states is the Barstool Sportsbook live in? <sighs> Illinois. Yeah! All right, let's go, let's go. Pass reply. I'm gonna go with Pennsylvania. Good answer, good answer. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer. Um, give me New Jersey. Good answer, yeah! Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Woo! Uh, how about uh, Puerto Rico? Oh, Let's do. All right, all right, all right. I'll get back on track. I'll get back on track. Show me Arizona. I don't want any. That's new though. That might not be here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo! Woo! Right, come on, Dave. Um, give me Indiana. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That party. Yeah. That party. Yes. Good answer. Good Good answer. Kelly. Good answer. Uh, nervous. Tennessee! Yeah, good answer! I don't know what we have. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Good answer. Give me Michigan. Michigan! Yeah. Michigan. Michigan man! Let's go Michigan. Good answer. Woo! New York! Let's do... Jesus Christ. All right, all right. We got to wait. Go ahead. We got to get these right. We got to get these right. Uh... Colorado! Colorado! Just there. Yeah. Just there. What is Come on. Week there. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. One more answer on the board. Come on, one Davey. Come on, on Davey. Board. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia. Yeah. We got them all. We're back, Barstool Sports Advisors. We got two more picks to go, and then we're going to get to our mortal locks after another break. Uh, next up, Packers Saints. Let's go a little out of order here. Tommy, I will start with you. The Saints are plus four. Over under is 50. Both these teams' offenses come out of the gate hot. Saints have hit the over in seven straight week ones. Packers overs have hit in eight of the last 10 games. Hannah, let's get the weather. Okay, so I know you guys are trying to throw me for a loop. I know where my Packers are going to go. They're playing in Jacksonville. Not Damn. playing. You guys knew. Ooh. Tommy tried I to knew get it. you, Hannah. Oh, Come on, you think I'm going to not know? Big cat's you, idea. So of course she'll Jacksonville know. is going to be 88 degrees and completely sunny. Ooh. And up. I, 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 I would have taken the we, cheese. We yeah, you yeah. Fail you that I, I already had my whole cheese. Cheese. Nice job, game. I know. They will be. swag. Let's go. There will be a game because they're fucking go. They're playing, I think, away from home for the first month. That was the easiest bet in the history of mankind. That will happen. What was? What did you guys bet on me? No, no, no. I listen. I. Hand for the, I, I thought I was confused. You would have gotten me. Uh, all right, so Packers Saints in Jacksonville, muggy, hot. Packers coming from Green Bay. Dave, who you got? Tough game, especially since I thought this is in the dome as of three minutes ago, which <laughs> is not possible because of the hurricane. Listen, damn, tough. I Jameis. think I like the Saints, plus four and a half. Jameis, I think he's going to have an okay year. Got I, I, I refuse to believe that there's not some sort of hangover with the Packers and the theatrics of uh, Aaron Rodgers this year. I like. I honestly think if Jeopardy called up, like, hey, mm. the first six guys got fired, we're on to you, he'd be like, all right, I'm out. Mm. I just don't know that 
the Packers can be a good mental state. I'm going to take the Saints. I think Jameis has a decent year. He's a weirdo. They're going to mm, 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 eat that W. Remember when you had your little uh, flirt with yep. Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling each other best friends? Yeah, it ended. I just waited, I just waited at home, waiting for you to come back. Well, it ended. Because he's a... He, he, listen. No, I, I'm he was not always going to cheat on you. No, no, I'm not going to say I don't like him, yeah. but... He gave us half a million, though, right? He did. He to did. The bar oh, yeah, and, oh, yeah, but he's a jerk. And, 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 and not only that, he created his own fund in his hometown, Chino, so he did a lot wow. for the Barstool Fund. Wow, he raised millions. Good. He's a great guy. Good job. Great guy. Great having guy. said and that, yeah. having great said job. that, mm -hmm. we Don't made plans it. to go to the Kentucky Derby. Yep. He never called me back. He never <gasps> texted me. He was responsible for the tickets. And then the morning of, he's like, so are you going? I'm like, did you just send me that text? Wow. Wow. I would never do that to you. Yeah, I had to remember it. I had Elio on standby. Are we mm. going? It's like, well, I got a new friend. I'm going to say, I may be going nope. with a new friend. The new nope. friend never called. I'm like, Elio, are you available? Now, Elio being a good friend, even though he's like the eighth choice, he still came. But I'll never forgive yep. you. Yep. Drake, no new friends. I mean, I could read the text exchange. Yeah, like, it's, did you it's just disgusting. send me that, dude? It's disgusting, Dave. He's like, you got a point? No shit, I got a point. I knew he would do that to did you. Did you guys fight? I knew he I'm would do so that to you. I'm so sad that he would do that. He does it to everyone. He got engaged, guys. How do you think I feel? Well, you thought you had a shot? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Saturday, April. Th All right. Uh, oh, Here we go. I'm reading it. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Put a warning up for any Saturday, kids watching. Saturday, April 3rd, Derby. He, this is, uh, if you're going and want to get a table and down, I go both days. This, that's me. He says, oh, we're in the middle of a con. Okay, let me talk to my agent. Where do you usually sit? Uh, I see you there, uh, section behind you. He's like, okay, perfect. I'll let you know. Um, Thursday, April 29th. Where are you at this weekend? That's Derby weekend. What? This is... He, the, April 3rd, is no text. response, Dick no text. response I'll to April 29th. Know. Where are you at this week? And I respond, is this a real response? Oh. Yes, I realize I didn't respond to you about Derby. I feel embarrassed. Oh. Then I, I put him on blast. He goes, I see you put me on blast. Correct. Correct. <laughs> He Aaron. says fair. I said totally fair. That's the last time we communicated. Oh, I, I knew what happened, Dave. Fuck you, Aaron. I let Rodgers. you go run around with him for a little bit. I knew you'd come back. Poor Elio just sitting in an empty room with a suitcase and, waiting for me to and, tell and, him. And listen, go. he's just he, it really is that. Because he's he's a big guy. He sitting is he's in just small, a little suitcase. Small chair in the no lobby. Hedge hat, being like, Am yeah. I going to the derby this year? I had him on standby. Oh. You need friends like Elio who have no other option. Yeah, <laughs> just like I'm coming no matter what. You call up there. All right, Stu, who do you got in this Ridiculous. game? Ridiculous. Uh, horrible. Aaron Rodgers, you fucked Dave. Fuck you me. didn't fuck Hannah, but fuck you. Okay. Oh. Let, let's go. Okay. Let's, let's, one second, Hannah. Oh, no. 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 I love the Saints in this game. Jamin Swinson's going to win Comeback Player of the Year. He's going to be prolific. He's going to be epic. He's not turning over the ball. There will not be these insane... Pick sixes to not cover games. If you remember, Jameis Winston had a phenomenal year through five pick sixes in one season. He learned from Drew Brees. He learned how to keep his composure like I learned how to keep my composure through you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Saints are going to be phenomenal. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. Fuck the Green Bay Packers. Let's go New Orleans big. They had a catastrophe again. Have to go to Jacksonville. Let's go. Let's go New Orleans. New Orleans outright. Okay. I got three dogs winning outright, even though I want the points. I am going to take the over in this because famous Jameis Winston got LASIK surgery. He's going to the Hall Is that of like Fame. a horse? He got LASIK. He has a horse mouth. LASIK. Am I allowed to say he that? He got LASIK. Well, you ever see his teeth? Horses He's, get LASIK. Yeah, they get LASIK as well, and then they run great. Yeah. Famous Jameis Winston got LASIK. He can now see LASIK. the defender. Six? Is it six? Horse, LASIK. LASIK? He's on no, LASIK. It's not plural. No, LASIK. LASIK. Eye surgery. Horse? Lace, LASIK. LASIK. Horse LASIK. is running on LASIK. Say three, no. two, one, LASIK. LASIK. Speaking of horses, I'm hung like a fucking horse. Just so you right. want to know. I'm taking you like a horse. I also, I, I do believe Big! there is a real expression addition uh, by subtraction. And Drew Brees, Hall of Famer, no doubt. The, the man could not throw the football could, five yards. Could not do anything. Give me the over in this game, over 50. Uh, last game, Bears at Rams, Sunday Night Football. This game is going to suck. They're going to start Andy Dalton. I'm going to be crying. It's going to be terrible. Their offense stinks. Their offensive line stinks. I hate Matt Nagy. I hate all of it. I'll go first. I'm taking the under 46. I don't care. I hate this fuck. My excitement level is on empty. 
on empty for the Bears because they have Andy Dalton. If it was you, Justin Fields, it'd be a hundred. Do you want to uh, tell about the multiplier real quick? The multiplier, yes. If you bet the Bears plus seven and a half, you get five dollars. You can bet you get fifty if they cover. Boom. Good deal. Ten x multiplier because so many people already bet it. That's what we're going to be doing this year. That's year amazing. On Barstool Sports. That's amazing. I think you're throwing your money away because I think the Rams are going to kill them in this game. But it's a great I, bet. I think um, five well, to win fifty. You know, my brain sometimes just forgets names that the Lions quarterback Shellfield. What's his? Um, Who? Stafford. Stafford. Yep. I think Sheffield, he's gonna, Sheffield. I think he's going to have a monster game. Shout out, by the way, to his wife. I she, he, she commented on one of my Instagrams, being like, "Way to fucking thrive off your haters." I think that was. A double entente she was talking about her husband. Correct. Got so it. I think he's and she ready. might want to fuck you. No, I don't think so. Well, I, I think I, she I, might. He, I think he's going to be ready to go. Another prop, Dan. So I, let me say clearly, I'm on the Rams. Minus Rams seven minus half. seven and a half. But I do think a prop we should put in is what week will we see Fields. Yes. That's a good bet. Yes. Because there's no way that Dalton's going the whole season. And again, I know you agree with me. You've talked about it. The difference between the way Belichick handled Correct. a veteran and a Correct. rookie and the way that Correct. Matt Nagy... It's why the Patriots are the Patriots and the Bears are the Bears. They, Matt Nagy said, we have to see Andy Dalton in the regular season. As if we've never seen Andy Dalton in the regular season. Too bad, season. because he's a nice guy. Who? Andy Dalton. Red, red Great Rocker. guy. Yeah. Awesome guy. Super nice guy. I hope he doesn't play more than two snaps for the Bears. I, Greg Olson loves Fields. He's special. I'm not a he's Fields guy. No, I he's special. I love him, that. That's you your got, you, See what no, you got. Special. See what you got. Special. See what you got. I was, I was, right, I was right about the other kid who was special. friends with Caleb, and I'm right about this guy. What? Okay. That was because of that Georgia game early in the season that we lost money on. Because that was Hank, too. Hank, remember? Hank came back from the Dixie Tour and was like, this guy. No, no, no. Yeah. I was right. Yeah. I saw no, they didn't cover. UNC didn't cover no, no, no. against Georgia. I saw him one game. I remember I was at, uh, in Nantucket, and I was in the gazebo, and it was fourth and seven. He threw the ball out UNC of Georgia. That's the game. In that game, I said, yes. that man I cannot yeah. trust. Yeah. Still, I love him, though. He's a really nice guy. There's a lot of nice guys out there. A lot there. of nice guys. We can't play football. We're nice guys. Uh, Stu. Yes. You don't give your pick on Sunday night, but I'll no, tell I, you I, right I, now, he's taking the under and he's taking the Bears. Uh, I am the Sunday night king. I've proven it for almost 40 years. And uh, last year was a phenomenal year on Sunday nights. Two years ago, Sunday nights. Three years ago, Sunday nights. Four years ago, Sunday nights. Matter of fact, I'm not sure, but I don't think I ever lost a game on Sunday night. I might have, but I don't remember it. I we don't might have, have but I don't fucking think so. I don't know. I'm not, I don't think so. Okay, well, who's in charge? Because I know we'll do it. Who is in charge of getting us to get a guy to Where are the numbers here? They're <laughs> stepping on my promo time right now. David. All right, so here we go. Three best bets. You wanted a million dollars a year Three. to come in. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, 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 now it's a million five. Promo. Now it's a million five. You wanted a million dollars a year so to do an advertisement once a year. And I did so good this year. People pay me because of him and, of course, because of you and because of Hank. Hank Anyone doesn't else? get the credit he deserves. Hank, I love you. God bless you. I die. Hank gets I just want to say that. a ton of credit. Phenomenal. 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 I bought a present yes. in today. Normally, I give everyone presents. I only gave fucking Hank a present. What do you give? Because it's oh, Hank's day. None of your business. Imagine, you didn't get it. Imagine being you a, got shit. a legitimate contract negotiator. Buddy. You wouldn't leave. He's like, I need a million. He's like, I can't do it. He's to, like, to well, how about a million? I've been working for someone since 1981. I'm not working. It's an I'm not, hour listen, negotiation. I never left him a million If a you were my boss, you would say, Stu, and I'd have to jump. Stu, get my coffee. Stu, how do I look? Stu, cut up this line. I'm not doing that for less than 20000 a week. I'm not. I never Never will. Now it's thirty thousand, buddy. Oh, the price happy. just went up. Big shot, Mr. Billionaire. You fucking happy? Just congratulations to Weather Girl Hannah. Full course, time. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Had, a, had a full time. Had a tell the crowd. All right, we'll be back. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, we no, got no. three best bets. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Three and oh, three best bets. Three games you can have. I'm not charging thousands, hundreds. $69, favorite number, Hannah, favorite position, Hannah. Tone Let's go! 3 and 0, 69, 3 and 0. Hannah, all due respect, I'm totally with that. What happens when totally we actually that. like get in trouble for this? <laughs> I don't know. No, we don't. We're hostile. We can do anything. We're no, bulletproof. No, 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 no it's gonna fall back to me if we get in trouble. No, mm -hmm. you're you, you are untouchable. You're the one oh, saying. Thank you. You heard that? I'm untouchable. It doesn't work for us. No, no, I'm untouchable. But All I, right. I just did touch you. Three winners, 
69, three best bets like we did all year last year. It's the Barstool Special. Pay me, I make you money. Pay me, I save you money. StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. All right, more to locks coming up right after this. I'm back! I'm back! That's right, I'm back to earn for you this Sunday and every day during the football season. Here we go! By popular demand, Barstool Special, only $69. Favorite number, favorite position. Now here we go. Three best bets for $69, including the Sunday Night Lock between the Rams and the Bears. That's right, you get the Sunday Night Lock between the Rams and the Bears, plus two more best bets. Three best bets, not thousands, not hundreds, $69. Go 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, week one with your source for $69. Get over to StuFinder.com, 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 ready to roll, ready to win. Three winners, three best bets, $69, StuFinder.com. What up, Chicklets fans? Wit here. We are checking out our new clothing line, Spring Summer Edition. We got bucket hats, we got straw hats, we got Peter Millar golf shirts. The list goes on and on. Mikey, what do you have? Pretty nice sweater, but I think you got a nice shirt at least for now. Let's show them. Oh, I do. Do you know what I like more than winning? Do you know what I like more than winning? No, not food, not carbohydrates, not even sex. Doing Stu Finder shout outs. That's right. What I do best, what I love doing, Stu Finder shout outs. Now, what is a Stu Finder shout out? How about you have a birthday? How about you have an anniversary? How about somebody graduated high school or college or did something special? How about somebody's down in the dumps? How about you need to lift spirits up? Count on me, Stu Finder shout outs. I'll shout it out. I'll say anything. I'll do anything. You want me to run? You want me to hang out with Aria? You want me to dive in your pool? Stu Finder shout outs. I will deliver like nobody's business. Get over to BeLikeStu.com. BeLikeStu.com. Stu Finder shout outs. Greatest gift in the world. Change your life. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Stu Finder shout outs at be like stew.com. All right, we're back. It's Mortal Lock time. Quick reminder for everyone out there Barstool Sportsbook, our Mortal Lock parlay, will be in the exclusive section with boosted odds every Sunday. So go check it out. Also, if any of us are against each other, we'll put two up so you get to decide. Easy, easy, easy. I also, and this is just me, the brain, the Adderall is kicking. There's, there's all uh, synapses. Synapses. You should also be allowed to fade it. So yeah. You should put a boosted fade. with it, boosted against it. Boosted it with it, against it. That's Love amazing. it. The all time people. The all time critiques like that we intentionally give losing picks, which is the craziest thing while we're. I betting bet my own money, money folks. Yeah, my and own I money. lose. A lot. I'm, I'm not money. liquid right now. 1-800-GAMBLER. Call if you got a problem. Stu, you're more to lock. Um, I think the surprise team in the NFL is going to be the San Diego Chargers. I think Justin Herbert wins the MVP. I think he's arguably the greatest quarterback I've ever seen in my life. And they're loaded right now. They held him on the offensive line. Their defense was phenomenal last year. They covered four straight, won four straight, going out. I think the Chargers win in Washington in a round. I want you to bet... Justin Herbert right now for the MVP. I want you to bet them to win the Super Bowl, and you're betting them in this game. It's the best bet. Boost it, baby. Boost it. San Diego Chargers. All right. Well, I've never felt more confident in my life because I'm taking the Washington football team. Fitz Magic, Chargers new coaching staff. I actually re really like Brandon Staley. I think it's going to take a little time. Washington football team's defense is one of the best units in football. Look at this. Washington football team, just footballs everywhere. Dave, finish us off. So we'll do this, folks, just so everyone understands. Whatever Dave's pick is, it will be parlayed with the Chargers. You can pick that option, and it will be parlayed with the Washington football team. You can pick that option. And then we'll have a fade. I, I, I got to be honest, I think <laughs> four years doing this show, is this the first time that we reversed that order? It went you, you, me, whatever. We're, we're new year, new season. I, um, I just, he just ate his beard. Yeah, remind me of this What's girl your pick? in 1987. Wait, let me guess. 
I don't know. I'm going not only trying to establish a nickname here, mm. but uh, reestablish the dynasty. I already talked about this, the Patriots. I truly, 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 in my heart of hearts, believe they're back. I think Mac Jones is going to be the next Tom Brady. I think they're going to win four Super Bowls with him. I think it starts today. I think Big Mac is the name we go with. That's why I'm wearing this. No trademark infringement. And shout out, you, you know we've made it. Because we started talking about Big Mac, his people reached out to our people like, you guys want to do a deal? And Let's do it. T-shirts. So I had a guy make a shirt. I could probably pull this thing up right now. Let's see if I can find it right right quick. We can. The magic of editing will make it seem like, um, like it came right away. Love it. The magic of editing. Pause. I'm, I'm going to find it. I want your guys' instant reaction of our Big Mac shirt. Tom, do you have a mortal lock? Uh, nah, no, just kidding, too, I don't care. Okay, well, I wasn't going to give one, it's not my role. Here's the deal, guys. I don't know that I can uh, find Bengals. this guy. Just, just pretend like you found it, we'll put it up. But I want to, you know me, I can't pretend. I need them to We're get We're not the, actors! Uh, We're not paid actors in this place. Welcome to week five of Marshall Sports Advisor. His name's still looking at his fucking shirt. Are you kidding me? I got it. Jesus! This is what's. Ooh! That's a good shirt. That's amazing. I would buy that. I would that's notice that there are football shirt. players that. in the sandwich, in the sandwich. getting scrunched. In I like, I like the, the Patriots sandwich. minus three and a half. Love it. Uh, you actually have minus three. I'm gonna I give you love that even more. I just doubled it. Right now. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Go to Barstool Sportsbook right now. We've got the Mortal Lock Parlay. We've got the Hanson Up. We've got my Can't Lose Parlay. Everything. Football is back. Week one is back. All right. Be advised. See you next week.